me if you're late. Every time I'm late, I carve myself up. Still bleeding? No, it's all right. Now, get going. Say, who's in all the rush around here, you or me? You're as ardent as a fish. After four years, does a husband still expect his wife to be ardent? You wouldn't be a little on the bitter side this morning, would you? Not unless you're trying to pick a fight, are you? No, not especially. I think I know how I could wangle it, though. How? By noticing that you're all negligeed up. As if you wanted to impress some caller, like uh, Eloise, for instance. Maybe you're clairvoyant. Eloise is stopping by. Is there something so very wrong about that? No, not much. Except Eloise herself, I hope. I love the way you talk about the girl you nearly married, Alan. And the way you say, I hope. Well, if it wasn't so late, I'd go into that too, honey. Is there something eating you, Alan? Look, Mavis, I just don't like the idea of you and Eloise getting so palsy. Believe me, she loves to make trouble for people. Alan, I try my best, but I can't spend all my time doing all the things your mother expects me to do. Well, then why don't you find something to do on your own, where you'll be accomplishing something? Want me to get a job? Find some way, perhaps, of adding to the family fortune? Well, now, dear, you don't have to get mad. I'm not getting mad. Well, there are lots of things you could do. You might as well be back modeling and spending your life with the Eloises. Alan, every now and again you get so darn noble. The solid leading citizen. What do you expect me to do? Well, I'll tell you. I expect you to tell me the truth, for one thing. In her messy way, Eloise is seeing Frank Haswell again, and from what I hear, is willing to share him now and then, when there's anything to be gained by it. Share him with me, you mean? That could be. I'm not the jealous husband type, I hope, but it could be, you know. It's very funny. I guess I did push that one too far. I'm sorry. I did meet Frank at a cocktail party. And I would have told you, too, except I know how you always behave when anyone mentions either him or Eloise. Uh, I guess I am kind of touchy on that subject. You don't want me even to talk to her on the telephone. Well, Alan, that's exactly what I'm waiting for now, a call from Eloise. Oh, Mavis. What's happened to us, Mavis? Oh, I guess we're just getting hateful. The both of us. Well, I'm afraid it's my fault, mostly. It's nobody's fault. I try not to be the Lord and Master type. I know you do. And you're not, really. Well, maybe it's because I'm always trying to prove to you that I'm... Just as crazy about you now as I ever was. Remember the first night we met? <laughs> you thought I was trying to put on an act. Here's to you. Frank, I think you're about to lose your gal. Yeah, it does look that way, Eloise. <laughs> oh, well, what can a mere piano salesman expect when he's up against a personality boy? Uh. <laughs> well, now, can't a poor, friendly young man just talk to a girl? Maybe friendly, dear, but definitely not poor. Say, Eloise, uh, did you say she was a model? Mm -hmm. And I knew I shouldn't have brought her. Let's go someplace where we can dance. That's a good oh, idea. Wonderful. I gotta make a phone call first. I'll be right back. Excuse me, too, kids. Don't go away, especially together. I suppose she left us alone on purpose? Why should she? Maybe she saw the way I was looking at her. Well, if it's the way I think, all the more reason why she should stick around. It's the way you think, all right. I like you, Mavis. I like you a lot. All in one evening? In a thousand evenings. In one minute. Aren't you getting a little confused as to which girl you brought here? Well, Eloise is broad-minded. Besides, I don't think she ever took me very seriously. What about Haswell? What you just said would cover that, too. Really? You know, I've gone on double dates like this before, but I never knew why until tonight. You know, I like Eloise. She uh, just says anything that pops into her mind, <laughs> doesn't she? Such as what, for instance? Well, the way she gave you that build-up, for instance. Well, didn't you like that? Should I? Well, certainly. I want you to know everything about me. 
This would all be very flattering, Alan, if it weren't a little hard to believe all in one evening. Say, so listen, let's leave them a note and uh, tell them to meet us at the Pavillon. But it's only a gag. They'll get a kick out of it. Haswell won't mind, will he? Well, Eloise is pretty. You know, you and I have got an awful lot to talk about. Oh, you are a rash character. Will you take the responsibility? I'll take everything, including you. <laughs> Boy, I am late. Bye. Well, my sweet, to me, it adds up to exactly one thing. You just don't love the guy and never will. But Eloise, he knocks himself out for me. Gets me anything in the world he thinks I want. And you don't want it. Anyway, not while Frank Haswell's in town. Why do you say that? You know why. Frank was your man, Mavis. Still is, probably. And you could have had him. Don't be such an optimist. My acquaintance with him was packed with just one thing, you. I wish you wouldn't keep selling him to me like this. Why kid yourself? Still under 30. Found out it isn't money you want. Oh, Eloise. Okay, okay. Anyway, there's a guy you should have had who still wants you. I couldn't do that to Alan. Oh, moon around for a few months, all right. But isn't that better than a slow death for both of you? Why does a man get such a fixation on a woman? Sometimes I feel as though I'm being strangled to death. I know a lot of girls who wouldn't mind that a bit. If the strangler was Alan Foster. It's only that I've always resented possessiveness. Such a vicious circle. The more you hold back, and sometimes you've got to. The tighter he hangs on. You go on this way, you'll both be wrecked. I think that's for me. Hello? Yes. We're expecting you. Come on up. That was Frank Haswell. Frank? He's in the lobby. He'll be right up. Oh, Eloise. <laughs> I framed you, darling. Don't you see I'm in a spot? Alan's already acting silly enough about Frank for no reason in the world. Oh, relax, darling. After all, I'm still here, aren't I? Can't a girl and her escort call on an old friend without... Hi. Hi, yourself. Hello, Mavis. Hello, Frank. I won't say farewell, but I'm gone for a while. Oh, don't worry. I'll be back. Sometime or other. So long. Eloise told me you were going to give me a call. I didn't tell her that I would. Oh, you didn't? Uh, not even that you'd like to, maybe? Look, Frank. Is there any such thing in your little book as just plain old friendship? Oh, could be. Well, even with friends, you'd like to have a look at them once in a while, wouldn't you? Yes, but there are looks and looks. And you've got them all. Every time I see you, I realize that all over again. Listen, Frank. Once upon a time, there was a fellow and his girl who decided to double date with another fellow and his girl. And they got all scrambled. Look, Mavis, why don't we try to unscramble them? Why don't we face it, all four of us? Let me finish, Frank. You and I... And Eloise and Alan, too, for that matter, hadn't known each other very long. Maybe we should have left things the way they were that night, but we didn't. And now there are years in between, and our lives have taken on a certain pattern, a very decent one. And we can't get away from it. You said it. We can't get away from it. Don't keep up this maneuver, Frank. It's not fair, not to any of us. Is anything fair when people feel something for each other they can't help? Well, would you look at the man of leisure, home in the middle of the afternoon? Hello, Alan. A little inconvenient for you, isn't it? Alan. Now, don't get this wrong, Alan. Eloise and I... Oh, just... Eloise is here with you, huh? Ah. Eloise. She only left for a minute, Oh, Alan. quit lying, both of you. I'm a fool, all right, but don't tell me so to my face. I give you my word, Alan. Your word. I resent that. Yeah, we'll see how you feel about it. Why, you... Don't, Frank. 
Go on, get out. You're a dope, Foster. Go, please, Frank. You acted like a fool. You can't put me in the wrong. Oh, no, you're always the right one. Anyone else can be an idiot, but never you. That little story about Eloise was supposed to fool me, is that it? I didn't know she was going to bring Frank. Oh, for heaven's sake, Mavis, quit playing me for a sucker. I'm getting fed up with it. Well, you're not the only one. You don't need to tell me. It's written all over you. It has been for months. In your mind, it's been written. If it's a divorce you want, if that's what you're getting at, you can have it. Oh, thank you. You're so considerate. Who is she? Oh, you would think of that. You needn't be insulting, Alan. I'm sorry. So am I. Sorry for you and sorry for both of us. I... I came home to tell you that my reserve unit is being called up. I'll be shoving off a career. The reserves? But I thought the paper said... The paper says anything. The colonel phoned me today at the office. Alan, I'm so sorry. Well, I'm not. I'm glad. If you start action, I... I wish you'd wait until I've shipped out. Down. Save it. Put it in a letter. I'll let you know where you can reach me. feet, maybe 20. Holy mac. Yeah. Show him one of these. You'll get used to it before you get much older. Yeah. I do. I'm in it from day to day. At least that's what I've been telling myself for the last 15 years. Well, you figure it'll be a long stretch, huh? Ain't I good at guessing? up on that fit. Yeah, and the next chance I get to write a letter, I'll, I'll just ask Agnes to ace in on her prayers. Agnes? She your wife? Yeah. Agnes. <laughs> She's the home sweet home type. A uh, good little old mother for the kids, though. She ain't exactly glamorous, you understand, but... Right, son, Lieutenant. I guess you know what that means. We have to hold this hill, Sergeant. It's imperative. Yeah? Who said so? Captain Foster. <laughs> Little Lord Deadpan. You know, he could hold this hill all by himself if they'd let him. Just step out there in front of the perimeter and give those commies one of those cool, clammy stairs of his, and they'd never stop running they got all the way back to China. Ah, oh, the Captain. That's too bad. Dad. Who says we're going to be in bed? It's just too good. Too good for this world, that's all. He probably feels he should be pounding around with the big brass. Far too important for low lowlifes like us. Oh, Boston's just reserved. Reserved. 
You know how he addresses me? Sergeant. Just plain Sergeant. I did that myself only a minute ago. You know, I could name you three generals and a whole hat full of colonels that call me by name. But not that boy. Oh, no. What's he call you? <laughs> Lieutenant. See what I mean? Why, the guy ain't hardly human. He won't even talk about the weather. Just goes around all wrapped up in his skin like a mummy. Probably thinks us ordinary Joes ain't good enough for him. The captain's a good soldier, Fitz. Yeah. I'll bet these K-rations out of special cans with a monogram on them. It'd still be K-ration. <laughs> no. I think Foster's got something on his mind. You know, for one thing, they tell me he's always looking for a letter. It never seems to arrive. Probably something important to him. Yeah, me and Agnes used to think the kids walking on Madison Avenue Sundays. We've seen lots of guys like him strutting their stuff. Fancy pants, get-ups, fishy stares, and beautiful ways. Always beautiful ways. <laughs> now, I never could figure why they found so many of them. Used to strut a little myself, Madison Avenue. I wasn't anybody much. Boy, if only Agnes looked like that. That's so with the kids. Him. He's the oldest one. He's 11. Gee, they're great fit. I only hope I can have as much to show someday. <laughs> uh, she ain't exactly pretty, but she's okay. But then, I'll bet you 10 to 1 Foster's wife is a former Miss America. I ain't never seen her, but I'll give you the odds. That's the way it goes. Them that has, gets. Everything set here? Yes, Captain Foster. It'll be getting light soon. One will attack. This area will take the brunt of it. I imagine it will, sir. All we have to do is hang on. The rest of the battalion gets here. That's right. That's all we gotta do. Headquarters wants this hill held. We'll hold it, Captain. We have no alternative, Lieutenant. You don't have to put it away, Sergeant. We'll be here a while yet. Thanks, Captain. I like to take a gander at the old lady every now and then. It kind of puts the fight into me. It's a very nice family, Sergeant. You're a lucky man. So far, yeah. You're still alive, aren't you? I don't know. I gotta keep looking at her to make sure. It's a good idea, Sergeant. I should look often, so he'd remember. So he'd remember to see her side of things, too. We were wondering if, uh, if you were married, Captain. You know, just sitting here talking. We wondered. I'm married. I was betting she's beautiful. Is she, Captain? Yes, she is. She's beautiful. It's all our mail getting through to us, Lieutenant. I say it does. I don't believe it. I, I, I've been expecting a letter for weeks. Weeks? Letter from home, you mean, Captain? Yeah. From home. Hello. 
Well, do I just stand here whimpering? I'm sorry, Frank. Come in. I haven't seen her for weeks, and she greets me with all the ardor of a tax collector. Frank, don't. Now, what have I done? What's the matter? It's what you're planning on doing. Okay, so I'm not patriotic. Alan's in the army, and I'm hoping I won't be. Oh, it isn't that. Then what is it? Can't you give a guy a break? Well, you are going through with your divorce, aren't you? Eloise said... No, Frank, I'm not. You're not? Have you heard from him? No. I've written to him. Well, what's the sense of trying to patch things up with him? What do you want, a squabbling old age? Oh, Frank, you do love to use the wrong words. I'm sorry. What'd you tell him? Something he's probably found out for himself by now. A kind of secret. One that only comes to us, perhaps, when we're left alone with ourselves. I don't get it. A secret about marriage. Oh, it isn't loyalty. It's... Well, it's something more than that. I guess it has something to do with the marriage vow. Anyway, I... I think Alan will understand. Look, Mavis, he'll never love you the way I do. You were my girl to begin with. Oh, Frank. Really, I think you better go. You don't mean that. I do mean it. Okay, if that's how you want it. Bye, Mavis. I uh, hope you know what you want. Shave. <laughs> I always said the Major was a good Joe. Well, so long. I'll be seeing you guys. By the way, I'm also playing Pony Express. Looks like they'd start that now. Looks like we're hemmed in, Captain. Should we better break out? It'd be murder. I'll move first. It can't kill me. It is my turn. There are a few things I got to do before I die. Wait a minute, Captain. Hit bad, Lieutenant. Captain's dead, Fitz. Are you sure? Looks so peaceful, doesn't he? Only a little while ago, he was so excited. Yeah, a cold character like him excited. You never know what goes on in a man's mind. Yeah, maybe you better look at these. Hey, Fitz. Look. It's from his wife. The letter he's been waiting for. <laughs> 